Hey guys, so in this video we will be doing um, validation. So how we will be doing validation is we will be creating a pipe and the library that we will use for validating is um, yup. This library uh, can be used in the front end as well. That's why we will be using yup and then using Joey or class validators. So we can just pass in the schema and validate the schema with the values. And we can throw an error if any error occurs. So let's um, start copying this um, Joey validation pipe. Let's copy this over. Copy that uh, nest common as well. So over here we'll create a new folder that we'll call it pipes and we'll call the file um, yup validation pipe.ts paste it over um, let's um, install yup now so yarn add yup and let's imp we don't really have to import yup here so for our schema there is a interface exported in the yup types library so let's import that as well so yarn add um, dash d capital d and add type slash yup so the interface is called schema so let's try to import the schema it's auto importing from yup and we'll say it's an object the schema over here so over here now we'll say we'll get the schema from this dot schema so this dot schema dot validate and we'll pass in the values that we'll get and this should be an await and let's make this to a try catch because Let's make this the async first, async, then try catch. So we'll get the errors if any error has occurred. Um, we'll throw the errors over here. Let's return the value over here. And let's remove this if. And that's it. So we'll use this um, pipes in our take a look in our um, user repository I mean user resolver over here in the sign up input we will pass in the pipes um, at use pipes and say new yup I need to change the file name as well over here I mean the class name let's call it yup validation pipe Let's import that over here. Yep, validation pipe, and we'll pass in the schema. So to the create the schema, let's take a look. Um, we can create the schema like this, and we can say schema dot validate and pass in the values to validate. So let's create a schema. Let's copy the schema over. let's make this const um, let's import yup over here so I guess we import it by manually so star as yup from yep. now object shape so the thing for sign up input let's take a look in our inputs sign up input as username email and password all the strings so we'll say user name email let's copy this password and this should be um, let's say required here and we'll say a minimum of three I will say max of um, 30 characters and in the email we can say 
it should be a string as well so string string is required and we can say email over here as well so email and in the password we'll say min of just for now we'll keep it 3 and we'll later on we'll change it to 8 or more and max we'll say 150 and we'll say required over here and we'll pass in the schema over here in our um, job validation pipe seems like we need to import use pipes and in our yup validation pipe let's say um, console.log for the errors to, like, to take a look in our server error logs so what error is happening console.log and let's save this file over here as well let's start our server now go back let's, um, open up localhost 3000 slash graphql and let's create our um, let's add in the username so username over here minimum was 3 so let's make it 1 over here an email I'm adding an invalid email and password let's make it 2 over here or 1 2 Let's play now. Let's go back and take a look in our um, console.log over here. You can see it says um, password, email, and things. And here they say seems like um, what is this about? Let's pass and password like this. Let's take a look again. Okay, now. Okay, we need to say um, abort early in our validation pipe so it gets all the um, values. So we'll say abort early here. So abort early is false. Let's go back and press play again. Okay, now we can see all the um, errors that has been occurred. So here errors is the errors username must be at least three email and password and here you can see um, in inside inner it's an array of objects so in the first object you can see um, path is username and the message is username must be at least three characters and the second object is about our email so it should be path is email message email must be a valid email so we need to um, serialize this to path and message let's serialize this so let's create a new utility file where let's call this um, serialize say um, validation error ts okay so now um, export const realize validation error so this will be um, let's make it to an error function so we'll get the errors so errors for the error types over here if you take a look in the up um, documentation over here they're giving us this validation error so we can pass that in for our error types Let's see over here validation error. So it's coming from yup. So now we can say let's say const um, let's create a interface first. So interface let's call it error. So path is string and messages string. Now over here um, it's say invalid. The types is an array of um, error. It's, um, this should be an array. So okay, now we'll say we'll get the error dot inner and we'll map the inner. 
so what we need is the value so this takes a callback so we'll pass in these values value dot um, path and message to our um, invalid so we'll say invalid dot push and what we are pushing is an object so path is um, value dot So val oh man what happened to value change to value value dot um, path and the next one is message so value dot message now we can see in our um, pipes over here um, we can throw that error so we'll say through the serialize validation error pass in the error and let's um, remove that and remove this over here and that's it so let's take a look in our um, playground let's press play here okay so We need to say throw new serialized validation error. Let's play. It's not a constructor. Of course, it's not a constructor. What seems to be the problem here? I guess it's on the value over here. Or log the error first again. Are we not getting the errors? Okay, we are getting the errors. Take a look in our CLI validation error. Okay, invalid. Um, okay, man, push. Okay, we need to return the um, error as well. That's what we have missed. So we should say return um, invalid. Okay, let's press play again. Now you can see we are getting the errors so path the username second one email third one password so we can also um, pass in a message a custom message as well so in our resolvers we can say here what seems to be the error. password must be number type final value must be okay this we need to change this to a string so if you want we can say custom message as well so here it says custom message we can see password must be at least three characters this long um, let's change this to um, one character display and now you can see password must be at least three characters long and the thing that we'll do is we'll um, export this um, um, validation to uh, a common file so what we'll create um, for the front end and server we'll create a common file common folder and in that folder we'll export it export these schemas from there and we'll consume it from here by importing from the exported file and we'll change this uh, file structure to a um, uh, workspace so we'll create a yarn workspaces later on so in the next video most probably it should be yarn workspaces so this is what we'll create and we can what we can do is we can create a workspace and we can um, consume files from different workspaces I mean different um, folders so hopefully see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.